I don't know where you're at in the world, but it is starting to get cooler here in the Charlotte, North Carolina area. It's October, and that's about the time we start to see weather temperatures begin to drop. Um, unfortunately, when I went out to ride the other day, uh, my trusty leather jacket that I've had for eight years, that leather jacket broke and there's no way I can use it this riding season, especially during the cold weather. So, broke down and bought a new jacket. I'm gonna unbox it here in this video for you, so stick around. What's up? Jim here. Welcome back to J Street Moto. Welcome to the channel if this is your first time. So, as mentioned in kind of the intro, uh, I had to get a new leather jacket for cold weather riding. But I started researching cold weather gear. And really what I was looking at was, um, I was looking at something that was budget friendly and it met my needs. To put things in perspective, where I live, a really cold day, like the coldest kind of riding that I would have to do, is probably between, let's call it 21 and 28 degrees Fahrenheit. So I went with First Manufacturing's Vendetta jacket. It looked really cool, had some unique features, had some cool features in it. And so I figured, what the hell, I'll get that. Price point on this jacket's about $320 and I will link it down in the description. But right now, let's open it up and check it out. Literally just got delivered today. I ordered this jacket from Revzilla and that's the link that I will put down below. It comes in a pretty sturdy box and uh, wrapped up in plastic on a hanger. And this is it. Again, this is First Manufacturing's Vendetta jacket. The Vendetta jacket. Now, I will say this I am right around six feet tall, about six foot and half an inch, but I just count myself as six feet tall. And I weigh right now about 215 pounds. So I went with the extra large based on their measurements. And I've got nothing on underneath except for this t-shirt. And I'd say the jacket fits true to size. I can still get a couple of the layers underneath it without being too bulky. It is got a double enclosure on the front, a zipper plus snaps. So you can snap it up which will help keep some of the wind out. It has zippered sleeves, as we would expect, and a snap on those as well. These top pockets are snapped. The side pockets are snapped on the inside. A pretty good amount of room in them. Uh, this jacket is also, I'm gonna take it back off so I can show you the rest of the stuff because there's a lot, there's a lot to this jacket that I like. I kind of like the look of this hood, I really do, and if you don't like the look, the hood zips out separately, which was one of the things I really dug about it. Before I get rid of it, it does have a pocket on both sides, left and right, and they, are, they have the same appointment meaning they've got the same kind of stuff inside of them. It's got a pocket on each side for your pew pew and a couple of extra magazines. If you are someone that, you know, has a CCW and believes in your Second Amendment rights. So this jacket does support that. It's kind of cool because they used, uh, and a lot of companies are doing this recently, they use what looks like the firing pin on a casing as the button clasp. So that's pretty cool. Um, let's keep going through the jacket. So the jacket does have a liner on the inside. And just those few minutes that I had it on, I was starting to get hot. Uh, I'm not exaggerating. And my house is probably 70 degrees right now, between 70, 68 and 70. The liner zips out from the jacket and the liner also goes all the way down the sleeves. In fact, I'll show you where the liner ends. The liner goes all the way to here and it is snapped in there. So when you're taking it on and off, you're not gonna be pulling your inside sleeve up through your outside sleeve. 
You just unsnap this, you yank the liner out, and you have a jacket that is still leather from a protection perspective, but isn't gonna quite be as warm, which is good. For those of you that, I mean, it's not me, I don't really do it. I wear leather when I'm cold. I very rarely wear it just to have it as what I call a protective layer. Maybe that's wrong on my part, I don't know. Drop it down in the comments. If you're one of those people that wear your gear 100% of the time, top to bottom, let me know, I'd be interested. Um, I'm, I'm always curious as to, and I got friends that do both, honestly, that wear all their gear all the time. I've got friends that just wear their, you know, they only wear all their gear if the weather determines it, if it's really cold. Like I said, you can zip the hood off of this. There you go. And it turns it into what looks like, you know, a more normal looking riding jacket. So yeah, let's talk about the other aspects of this jacket. On the front, on each side you have these zippers. Those zippers are for vents. They're also a pocket. You can put something in there if you want and then it's like really secure. But really you're opening those to allow air to flow through the front of the jacket. And then there is a zipper on the back, which is, hopefully you can see it, right here. You open this up. Now you have airflow that goes from front to back and it will keep you a little cooler on those warmer days. If like, you know, if you do wear this pretty much year round, say without the liner, this will give you a chance to, you know, get some more airflow through it. Uh, I could see myself wearing it, you know, without the liner, a lot more of the year than what I currently do. Because my other leather jacket had a liner in it, it was extremely warm, but it wasn't removable. So the only time I really wore it was when it was cold, when it was really cold. So yeah, I would say the jacket fits true to size. I ordered an extra large, like I said. I'd say it fits true to size. This is, if I had to guess, it's slightly lighter than my other jacket. Reason for that is this is, according to the manufacturer's website, sheepskin. It's a, it's a little bit lighter leather. Still gonna provide protection, but it's a little bit lighter. It's not as thick and heavy as cowhide is. The other thing about this jacket is they do have, but I'll call gussets back here, in, the, in your shoulder, which will help with movement and keep you from feeling like you're getting bound up as you stick your hands forward or cause your sleeve to pull up on you. So yeah, all in all, haven't ridden with the jacket yet, but all in all, kind of digging it. I like the way it looks. I like the way it feels on. I like how warm it is. And, uh, you know, so from a fit and finish perspective, I give it a good grade from initial impressions, mind you, initial impressions. Then I give it a fairly good grade. Give me a favor, uh, drop a comment. If you're going to drop a comment and tell me, you know, what kind of gear you wear. Drop a comment and let me know where you're from and kind of, you know, what conditions you're willing to ride down to. I feel kind of spoiled living where I live because we do get effectively four seasons. So for me, at least living here, I'm able to ride year round and I don't really have to worry about it that much. Uh, but I'd like to know if you feel comfortable, drop it in the comments. Let me know where you're from and whether or not, you know, you ride year round what your riding conditions are like where, they're, where you're at. So yeah, again, the first manufacturing Vendetta leather motorcycle jacket. Uh, I'll let you know kind of how it feels when I ride in it, but I think it's gonna work out really good. This is not a sponsored video. I bought this jacket with my own money. So first manufacturing doesn't even know I'm doing a, a video on this. I just thought I would, I was getting a new jacket, so I figured I'd show it to you guys. Do me a favor. Like, subscribe, click the notification bell, share it with your friends. All that stuff's free to you and it helps the channel. Always ride safe. Yeah, ready? One, two, three, shoot. Ah. Asshole. Really? <laughs> Peace out, bitches! <laughs>